welcome to Writing 101. Today's episode is episode five, What If I Mess Up? So today we're going to talk a little bit about what to do if you mess up while you're writing. Editing. The first thing you need to remember when you mess up is that um, you're going to edit this. Nothing comes out perfect. There is garbage in there and that garbage has to be removed. Remember the adage that you'll see over and over and over again in writing videos and uh, writing literature, which is kill your darlings or kill your babies. Um, you always should uh, be willing to get rid of something even if you think it's well written, even if it's the something that's weirdly dear to your heart. Sometimes it doesn't make sense why that is, but you're super proud of it. Sometimes you gotta let them go. That is a thing you will probably have to do. However, that does mean that when you write them, you can leave them there until you edit because you are already going to have to do that anyway. Just move along. Just continue on. Did I just mess up that sentence? Who cares? Let me write the next one. Um, that's a big part of what NaNoWriMo is all about. And I think I might do a video on my NaNoWriMo experiences, um, maybe down the road a little ways. Um, but I think it's definitely worth looking into. I'll put the link down below, but it's NaNoWriMo.org. N-A-N-O-W-R-I-M-O.org. Um, NaNoWriMo is National Novel Writers Month. And uh, there's a whole online community. The actual holiday is is uh, November, the actual holiday month, um, but they do host uh, different nano style events throughout the year, uh, mostly in months that have 30 days so that you can, can still adhere to the same rules and get the same results. If you're looking for some, something to push you to just get it out, that's a really good place to go. You can always skip a section and move on, especially if you plot. Uh, I am not personally a plotter. It is not a thing I can follow. Doesn't matter. I can't follow a recipe either. So, you know, what you gonna do? The next thing I would recommend is to take a deep breath and repeat this to yourself. I can't mess this up. This is my story. Remember that at the end of the day, you're writing your story and no one else gets to tell you what your story is. So you definitely should allow yourself the ability to blow off those uh, inhibitors, those things that stop you from moving along and, and say, this is mine. This is what I get to do. This is my creative outlet. It doesn't matter what your goal end goal is, whether it's to have something you wrote in your hands or to publish it or to make a billion dollars, whatever your goal is at the end of the day, it's your art and you get to make the decision of what to do with it. This is one of the places in your life where you'll, where you'll get to make your own rules. And when you get to do that, you should really take full advantage of it. So if you enjoy doing what you're doing, continue doing it. And also remember that not everything is saleable and that doesn't mean that it's not worthwhile. So don't let someone indicate to you that what you're writing doesn't matter or that because you messed up, it doesn't, it ruins the whole thing. It doesn't. You still have your art, you still have your outlet, and it still does what it needs to do for you. That'll do it for this week. Next week, we're going to do episode six. What if I get bored? We're going to talk about what happens if you get bored writing. Uh, 50,000, 100,000 words can be a lot and it can get very tiring and people get bored of their own work. So we're going to talk about some ideas of what to do, uh, how to cope with that, how to stop it from happening, and possibly how to uh, improve your writing at the same time. I will see you all next week. Also remember, I have a live stream tomorrow night from uh, 7 o'clock on. And uh, that will be with CJ Bloyer, whose links are below. I will also have a video up for you Sunday on my progress. As of right now, it's disappointing. So let's hope I fix that problem. That'll do it. I do have a vlog that I started. I'm not sure when that's going to come out. Uh, I intend to use it to try out some software I found that is free. So we'll see. Um, once again, I'm still looking for an editor like a video editor program because I've been using the YouTube one because the price was right. Uh, but they're getting rid of that in about a month. So I've got a little bit of time to get that sorted out. So that's where I'm at. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Snapchat, and Instagram. Don't forget to go and visit my Patreon. There's Patreon only posts and people who, uh, support me get extra perks. So that's pretty exciting. Um, and also if you should happen to pick up either of my books, Suggestion 376, 
or Inside Darkness. If you reach out to me and you want to mail them to me or drop them off to me or whatever, if I know you personally, um, I will be happy to sign them no matter where you got them. So uh, just give me a shout out. Let me know you want to do that. Otherwise, I will see you all tomorrow and Sunday. So have a good week. Good writing. Bye. Thank you.